Hey guys, this is Mac from Hidden Dragon. Um, just because of the corona and everything going on at the moment, we thought that we'd hop on board with the online classes. And so we're gonna start with this one, doing a pre-recorded class. Hope you enjoy, hope you join in. Still wanting you on your mat. Take a moment to set an intention for your class. Something you personally want to work on today. Maybe it's something you want to manifest more in your life. Maybe you're just going to take some time to sweat out all of the things going on. Leave it here and let it all go. Tucking your chin, honoring your practice, and those around you sharing energy with you. And then as you lift your head, falling forward, coming into the pelvis. Opening up your eyes, taking your legs back, feeling your toes under. Spreading your fingers super far apart so your first fingers out the pelvic block and your wrist crease is our parallel to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, drop your belly down, pull the door. And then exhale, pull your belly in towards your spine, tuck your chin, and tuck your tailbone. Drop your belly down, pull your heart forward, lift up, shoulders away from the ears, sit on the front, wide, tailbone leans back, and exhale, belly around your spine, tuck your chin, and tuck your tailbone. A couple more times with your breath. Maybe taking some seat curves or some full body circles. And then making your way back to the neutral spine, raise your right arm up super high. And then thread your right arm through your pressing your right shoulder down to the right side of your super high. Pressing your left. 
left hand down, raise your right arm up, reach up, stretch up, and then sit back down. Left arm reaches up super high, threading it through, pressing down, going to the left side. And then push your right hand down with your left arm back. And then step back. Good. Stepping both feet back, coming into plank. Lining up your shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. Squeezing the sticky mat with your feet and your hands. And then taking those hips high down. Pressing all five fingers down, forward into the mat, inhaling up on your tiptoes, bending your knees, tilting your sit bones up high, and then exhale your heels to the ground, keep pressing your chest back. Feeling your heart space lengthen forward as your tailbone lengthens back. And then walk, hop, step, float, fly into the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, flat back. Hands on your hips, elbows up. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, lengthening through your spine. Stand up. Arms up, reach up, stretch up, or the sasana. Reaching up and back. Tailbone down. And then exhale forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands on your hips, elbows up. And then stand up. Arms up, reach up, stretch up. Interlacing your fingers, release your index finger, bump to the right, reach up and over to the left, digging your heels down and back, feeling your skin grab the muscle, muscle grab the bone, keeping your shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles through the front of your sit Inhale, back up, bump to the left, reach up and over to the right. Grabbing the mat with the four corners of your feet, bumping those hips a little bit more, and using that bottom hand to clear your top. And then inhale back to center. This time taking your hands behind you, fingertips facing up. Push your tailbone down, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your heart up, and then slightly back. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands on your hips, elbows up. And then stand up. Arms up, reach up, stretch up. And releasing your fingers, release your index finger, rock to the right, reach up and over to the left. Same setup here, except for maybe this time taking your left foot out and over, hovering above the ground just a little bit, really using those obliques. And then coming back to center, bump to the left, reach up and over to the right. Shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles square to the front of the mat. Arms are active and strong, squeezing your arm bones by your ears and then hover that right foot up to off the ground. And then come back to center. Either taking your hands behind you, fingertips up, or maybe practicing your arms this time. Lift slight tailbone top as you lift your heart up and back. Those look great. Inhale back to center. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Right foot stays there, left foot steps back. Wiggling your left foot back so that you drop your knee here in front of your kneecap. Put both hips back, cast it in. That heel, right heel presses down as your heart moves forward. Sit on the spread apart, spine lengthens. Take that heel down as you drag it towards the back of your mat, really lighting up the back of that leg. Remembering to breathe. And then bend your right knee, take your right hand, grab your left foot. Opening up that heart towards the ceiling. Rolling your shoulders onto your back. Releasing your back foot, creepy crawling to the left. Lizard pose. So using your fingertips to pull your heart forward, raising up that left leg. 
squeezing the sticky mat with both feet. Leave your left hand down, raise your right arm up. Making sure you're not dumping in that bottom arm. And then squeezing the sticky mat, you're gonna reverse it. Take your left arm up and your right arm to your back thigh. Pressing your right hand into the belly of your right left hand straight. And make sure your right knee is pulling over to the right side. Lining up with your outer hip. And then both arms up. Press them on. Just reach up, look up, stretch up. And then take hands to heart center. Shift it forward. Fear of draw some three. Inner thighs squeezing together. Back toes spread apart. Pushing your heel towards the windows as you lengthen your spine forward. Left foot meets right for a fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Left foot stays there, right foot steps back, low lunge. Pulling your heart forward, getting long in your spine. Good, wiggle your back foot back, drop your back knee, shift your hips back, left toes towards your nose, dorsi flexing that left foot, pushing your heel down, feeling that big stretch along the back and forth. Left hand straining in the calf, Arching your upper back towards the front of the room. And then bend your left knee, take your left hand, grab your right foot. Pushing your hips forward, opening up your chest towards the ceiling. Slowly release your back foot without sink shotting it. And go lizard to the right, pull your heart forward, look up, and then raise up that back knee. Squeezing your inner thighs together, really gripping the mat with your back toes and your front foot. Left hand lifts. Right hands down, make sure you're not dumping into that bottom arm or locking out that elbow. And then squeeze the sticky mat, reverse it. Take your right arm up. Pressing into that right thigh, reaching up the back, remembering to breathe. Both arms up. Reach up, look up, stretch up. Nice. Take your hands from heart center, shift it forward, warrior three. Inner thighs move together, back to the spread apart. Make sure that your back heel lines up with your hip. Right foot means left or full. Inhale, flat back. Palms together, elbows wide, drop your bottom and then the fourth body. Dig your elbows in, sit up, spread apart, spine is long. Drop your bottoms a little bit more. A little bit more. And then rolling all the way onto your back. Extending your legs up towards the ceiling. Interlacing your fingers, squeezing your palms together. Try to pull up towards your toes for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your right foot in front of the ground and pulse to the right side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, switch sides, turn the house there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up, last twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 
steps back, go lunge, pulling your heart forward, getting long in your spine. And then creepy crawly to the left lizard pose, elbows out, pulling your heart forward, getting long in your spine. Making sure that head back in front of the knee, creating space from your hip bones to your armpits, and then your left hands down on your right hands up. Squeezing the sticky mat with both feet, make sure that left thigh keeps pressing up. Maybe even take your left hand and hover it in the chalk the ground. And then pick it up in reverse. Left arm up, right arm down. Reaching up and back. Take both arms up, crescent lunge. Pull that right hip back and that left hip forward. Pushing into your front foot. Take your lower belly up off your thigh. And then take hands to our center, shift it forward, we're crossing the three. It's like someone's paying tug of war with your head and your back foot as you lengthen in both directions. Right hand down, left hand up. Stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders, arch to draw spine half. And then using that core strength, big step back, fear of draw spine two. Lining your front heel up to the middle arch of your back foot. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, feeling your collarbones lengthen away from one another. And as you squeeze the mat, reverse it, right arm up, left arm down. Feeling that side body stretch from your right hip out through the tops of your fingers. And then right palm to the top of your right thigh, extended side angle, and milling that left arm up and around, tricep and cheek. There's a straight line of energy from your left middle finger to your left heel. And then make sure that right shoulder is going onto your back so your bicep is facing forward. And then back to your two. Swan dive down, spiking your back heel so your left foot sweeps your right foot. Inhale, flat back. Left foot stays there, right foot steps back, low lunge. Pulling your heart forward, getting long in your spine. Walking over to the left lizard. Elbows out, chest up, lining your middle finger up with your elbow, deltoid. Pulling your heart forward. And then lift your left arm up. 
We believe in sticking out with both feet reverse to take your right arm up and your left arm to your back. Reach up, stretch up, look up, squeezing the sticking out with both feet, and then take your left arm and meet your right. Arm bones back by your ears. Hands to heart center. With control, shift forward, fear of the drop Getting long in your spine, extending your back heel towards the windows behind you. And then take your left hand down on your right arm up, stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders, opening up your chest. Slow and controlled, big step back, warrior two. Sinking your hips down, looking over your front middle finger, squeezing the sticky mat with both feet. And then reverse it, left arm up, right arm down. Reach up, look up, stretch up, making sure you still keep that left hand parallel to the ground. And then take your left arm to the top of your left thigh, wiggling that right arm around, keep the edge down, tricep to cheek. Rolling your left shoulder onto your back as you extend through your top arm. Everyone looks so pretty. Back to warrior two. Swan back down, low lunge. Right foot feeds left forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Palms together, elbows to thighs, drop your bottoms, pulling your chest towards the front of the room, digging your heels down and back. Feel the burn. And then separate your feet, malasana yogi squat. Butt down, chest up, dig those elbows in. So this is the malasana variation where your feet are a little wider. You're going to reach your right arm out and down. And your left arm up, holding your right rib cage inside of your right thigh. And then switch sides. Left arm reaches out, right arm up. Pulling your left rib cage towards the front of your mat. And back to that all awesome variation. Planting your palms on the mat. Shoot it back, chatter on the bus and step the back plank. Pelvis drops, point your toes, follow the ground, full row. And then lower down, curls, toes, raise, knees, belly first, high plank. Oh, I forgot belly on back. And then press the tops of your feet and pelvis down, pushing through your middle toe to lift up. Extending your arms towards the windows. Press down, lift up a little bit more. Good, and then lower down. Curling your toes, raising your knees, take your palms, lining your thumb up with the bottom of your breaststone. Easy there, Moving a little fast. And then everyone raise your shoulders in line with your elbows. Cover your belly. I plant those. Nice. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big exhale out. A few more breaths here. When you make your way to your fifth breath, find yourself at the front of your mouth. Forward. 
left hand down, right hand up. Make sure that left thigh is pressing that the right hip is pulling back. Get long in your spine as you open your chest up more. Squeezing and sinking that reverse, the left arm goes high, right arm goes to the back thigh. Using those core muscles to step it back, Virabhadrasana 2. Make sure your right toes are facing the right arm when you're sitting that and you your right foot towards the back of your mat. Your right arm is reaching towards the window behind you. And then make sure that finger bones come into your hips, so as you reach it up and back. Left arm goes high, right arm goes to your back thigh or calf. Making sure you keep that front bend in your left knee. And then extended side angle. So whichever variation you did on the last side, do it on the side. So if you took your palm down, go ahead and place it outside of your left foot, reaching your top arm towards the front of the room. Getting that big stretch along the right side of your body. And then back to order two. Taking your just to the front middle finger. And then 
and swan dive down the lunge. Right foot meets left vertical. Inhale, flat back. Palms together, elbows to thighs, drop your bottoms. Digging your heels down and back, feeling your heart forward. And then separate your feet, Malasana Yogi Squat. Your butt's down, your chest is up. Making that Malasana variation one more time. Take your right arm down and out, left arm up. Binding is an option here if that is in your practice and your shoulders are super open. And then switch sides. Left hand down and out, right arm up. And then if you took the bind on the other side, if you're still on one side, you can go over that top shoulder. And then back to center. Taking your feet together in the middle of your mats. Um, normally, <laughs> well, we're just going to do it this way. Take your feet together, toes and heels touching, take your knees out wide, walk your knees forward, taking your chest in between your thighs. And as you start to walk your arms back, taking your knees into your armpit creases, elbows out wide, start to shift forward, coming into Bakas and Pro Pose. Making sure your chin is pushing past the front edge of your mat and you're pulling those heels up by your knees. And then shoot it back, chop on. Pelvis drops, follow the ground, move the chops and pull the pillows. Sweeping those shoulders back, pushing those. All the way down. Curl your toes, raise your knees, really for a spike. Coming up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees. Exhale, all of your breath on forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, arms up, reach up, steps up, elbow so comes down, heart lifts up and back. Exhale, roll forward. Inhale, flat back. Right foot stays there, left foot steps back, low lunge. Pulling your heart forward, get long in your spine. Lizard to the left. All right, switch feet. It's all good. I don't know my left from right most, most days. Left hand down, right hand up. The squeeze is taking that reverse. So we're moving a little bit faster this time. Last round. Reaching up and back. Both arms up. Uh, take your hands to heart center, shift it forward, warrior three. Bring thigh squeeze them together. Left thigh press them up. And then right hand down, left hand up. Stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders, opening up your chest towards the left side of the room. And then a big, slow, controlled step back, warrior two. Squeeze the sticky mat. And then reverse your warrior. Nice job. Extended side angle, reaching towards the front of the room with your left hand, opening up your chest towards the ceiling. Back to warrior two. Swan by the down. Left foot meets right, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, away from the lunge. Inhale, flat back. Left foot stays there, right foot steps back, low lunge. Pull your heart forward, creeping crawling into the right lizard. Elbows out, chest up. And then you lift your left arm up, opening your chest up, finding a little bit more space to back bend into that posture. And then squeezing the sticky mat reverse it from back. Both arms up, press up, reach up, stretch up. Nice, any more 
hearts and then take your hands to heart center and shift it forward, warrior three. Left hand down, right hand up, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, pressing your back heel towards the back of the room. Big step back, warrior two, slow, control move. This. And then squeeze the sticky mat, reverse. Left arm up, right arm down. Extended side angle, taking your left arm towards your left thigh, reaching your right arm forward, twisting through your belly, opening up. Swan back down, low punch. Left foot beats right, fourth foot. Inhale, clap back. Exhale, jaw down. Pelvis drops, claw the ground, swing the backs and forward, so the shoulders squeeze together, heart comes down. And then lower down, bend your knees, reaching around, grabbing the back edges of your feet, the outside edges of your feet. Ganarasa, forward. Pressing your feet towards the windows, lifting your heart, and then trying to pull your knees in so they're about hip distance apart. Spread your toes. Nice. Good modifications right now. And then lower down, curl toes, raising the belly for tightening. Down, facing the bottom. Big breath in. Big exhale out. Coming up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, exhale all of your breath, and hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lay down. Inhale, arms up, reach up, stretch up. Tail down, lengthens down, heart up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Right foot stays there, left foot steps back, low lunge. Drop your back knee, shift your hips back, right toes from your nose. Heel presses down, maintaining that foot forward a little bit more this time.
as you start to walk your hands back by your lips, you're going to take your left hand down the side of your foot. Try and keep that left hip facing forward. Maybe even taking that left hand to your left elbow crease. Taking your right arm, reaching around, grabbing that back. Also a variation. Slowly releasing. Shoot your right hand back behind you. Take it all the way through low lunge. Left foot meets right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Left foot stays there, right foot steps back to the lunge. Dropping your back knee, turning your hips up, left toes to the right. Heel presses forward. A bigger stretch along the back of your left leg. A few more breaths. And then start to wiggle that left foot back, bending your left knee, taking your left hand, grabbing your right foot. So if you drop on to your forearm on the right side, go ahead and do that on this side. A little bit more open in your left hip. And then slowly releasing that back foot, taking your palms back to the mat, shooting your left leg behind you. Ekka Padarakha, toss on the left side. One legged king pigeon, pulling your left foot back, coming onto your forearms, taking your forehead to the ground. You're here for several breaths. Start to walk your hands back by your hips. Left. Right knee steps right inside the right foot. Pulling that foot closer to your hip crease. Or elbow crease. And then maybe take your left hand and grab your right foot. Slowly release. Keep a hold of your right knee, extend your left leg long. You're going to take your right knee over to the left, twisting through your belly, looking over your right shoulder. So extend your right arm out, palm up. On your inhale, lengthen. And then on your exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. And rolling all the way back onto your backs, knees into chest.
a hold of your left knee, send your right leg long. Taking your left knee over to the right, twisting through your belly, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, pulling that left rib cage closer to the left side of your mat. And then coming back onto your back, spinning your knees into your chest, reaching through, grabbing the outer edges of your feet, coming into that happy baby. Sit bones spreading apart, spine long, lining your heels up with your knees. And then slowly release one foot at a time, extending your legs out long. Take your hands beside you, palms up. Setting up for your shavasana, <coughs> your core Taking a big, full, deep belly breath in. Exhale, let your entire body sink into the ground, releasing any tension or stress. We hope you had a great class and enjoy your Shavasana from the comfort of your own home. Thanks. See you soon.